I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it's fascinating to me how often the ranking member talks about discrimination, but she didn't seem to talk about the, the discrimination coming out of the CFPB. She knows good and well, Mr. Chairman, that we've had witness after witness not come up with junk science about some disparate impact methodology that is proven wrong, but we've had actual witnesses come and talk about discrimination at the CFPB, which apparently the other side is now holding up as a paragon of virtue to, inform, uh, to enforce our civil rights laws. We've had the Inspector General come and say at the CFPB, minorities are underrepresented in upper pay bands. The Inspector General said minority applicants not hired in proportion to qualifications. The Inspector General says minority employees receive lower performance ratings. We've had one division of the CFPB that employees refer to as the plantation. This is in the 21st century. And now the ranking member wants to hold up the CFPB as some paragon of virtue because they use junk science, a methodology they admit themselves overrepresents minority populations. This is about due process, Mr. Chairman, due process for every American. We can't have some rogue agency putting out guidance and not allowing any public comment. We cannot allow this agency, regardless of what their motivations are, to ultimately take away credit opportunities of hardworking Americans who are trying to get ahead. We cannot let this rogue agency increase prices. It is time for us to support the legislation. Gentlemen's time has expired. I encourage all members to support it. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen's time